Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lehman. So today is a doll box opening as well as a doll reveal. And I'm gonna let you guys know some more of um of the uh some more stuff that I ended up getting from AliExpress that I think you guys might want to see. Not just the clothes that I ended up getting. Um you guys saw the shirt that I ended up getting, but right now we have a box opening. And ta -da! She's smiling here, guys. My new dream fairy. Now, when I ordered this one, this one is a little bit different. Hold up, guys. I'm going to turn you so you can see the box and pretty much not me. There. You only see me on the side, but that's okay. So, basically, I was messing around with AliExpress, and they were having a sale during October. And they have it every year. So, if you guys are looking for a good place to, to buy dolls like these, they have them. So, um, I ended up finding another um, Dream Fairy on sale. Oh, look. Oh, oh, my God. And like they said, they do come in their own. They come in two different boxes. So, they're pretty much packed kind of like a BJD doll is. So, they come in an outer box that has Dream Fairy on it. I'm going to put that over there. And then they come in their own box. And I'm taking a look at this box, and it's looking kind of raggedy. But other than that, it's a good little box. And I noticed that this time they didn't hold her in, um, um, in, in, in what you call it, whatever, whatever you call it, I don't know. So I'm going to try to go through this fast because I have two reveals for you guys. I finally finished repainting, I finally finished painting my boy, as well as I want to reveal what I did with the girl doll. I'm done with her for now. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't put the gloss varnish on her, I actually plan on doing that this weekend but I am done with her for now so what do you guys say we see what's in here I don't know if she has anything else that came with her I think it's just the doll that came with her I'm sorry guys my arm is like weird anyway I think it's this one is just the doll and I didn't on her with any this one comes with no hair so I have you have to use a wig for her her face is painted and I don't think she comes with any shoes, so this is her head. So what do you guys say? We get her body open. And like I said, I've already ordered one of these before. And we're going to take all this out, and I'm going to set this here. And we can put the box somewhere. And I'll deal with the box. I still have my old box, my other box. So this is the body. And I love the way they wrapped it. They wrapped it very well. And if you guys are looking for these dolls, I bought this one from the Blythe. Home, it, that's what that's what the name of the company is, the Blythe Home. Uh, that I ended up buying. I didn't buy from the show this time. So, like I said, this girl comes completely stripped. There's no clothes, there's no shoes, no nothing. It really doesn't matter because I don't want all that. I'm gonna make my own clothes. I'm gonna make my own shoes, and I'm planning on doing something drastic with her head. So we're gonna open the body. And this is her lovely body. Oh, wow. Yes. So this is a beautiful body. I'm going to throw that over that way. And there's nothing absolutely beautiful. These dolls will never cease to amaze me. How, of how gorgeous they really are. When it comes to their size, they're amazing. And then you got this. And guys, notice I do film my the videos for adults. I really don't film for kids. Now, she does come with her extra, her hands. So, yes, she comes with the painted hands. I don't know if she has extra. So, these are her feet. And I am sorry about the doll and nudity, but every time I come on here with a new doll, most of them will be nude. Some will come with clothes, some won't. So, guys, you got to expect this and... This is one of the reasons why I always try to warn about the dollar nudity. So she doesn't come with extra hands. I don't see any extra pair of hands. But she does come with her feet, like I said, and her feet always come off. And these are her feet. Quite lovely. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. These are her lovely feet. Very detailed. You can see the nails on these feet. This is amazing what they've done. 
So we got the feet. So what do you guys say we get the feet on? We'll just toss that down on the floor. It doesn't really matter because, believe me, this girl's going to have tattoos when I'm done with her. <laughs> uh, now, the last time I put them on the wrong way. And these dolls are amazing. I absolutely love them. I cannot wait to get more of them. Now, that's strange. There we go. Now, this girl, I haven't thought of a name for her yet. But usually, when it comes to her name, I usually think of it after I'm done with her. So, this girl will definitely be getting a repaint. So, other than that, her feet are on. And like I said, she is 62 centimeters, guys. And I'm trying to go fast with her because this, these two new dolls, these other dolls is what you guys really came to see. This is my doll reveal and doll opening video. I have been waiting for her for about um, um, a couple of weeks, actually. And unfortunately, I, I think it was like two weeks. Um, unfortunately, because of the storms, she was a little bit delayed. But she got here on time. Now, like I said, this is the one with no hair. I do have her wig. And, oh, she is so pretty. And, like I said, she does come with her own face protector. It does help to keep these little things, guys. And, oh, she is so beautiful. And this is her lovely face. She has the most beautiful face. Now, I'm not sure about getting rid of her. Now, I don't really want to get rid of her face. I just want to darken it up a little. So, when it comes to her, I'm going to have to hide her eyes away. And she doesn't have the head cap. She does not have a head cap. But she is a beautiful doll. And like I said, when it comes to these dolls, their prices is... She's normally $40, but I end up finding her for like $29, guys. It was actually $30, which they took $10 off for this, this, this sale they was having. And it was... Um, Ten dollars off. Oh, there. So there's my lovely girl. Doesn't really matter because she's gonna get a total makeover. I haven't decided how I'm gonna make over yet. I do know she's gonna go a little goth. This one right here is gonna be a little bit different from the one up there. She does actually still. She actually do look like my other girl. But other than that, she is very beautiful, and I absolutely love her. Now, to get to the real thing you guys came here for. So, you guys know in the last couple of days... Oh, wait. Let me go over her articulation again. Now, she does have articulation in her knees. In fact, this is her range of motion for her knees. That's pretty good. She has articulation here in the thighs. So, you can turn the leg out so she can sit in your style, guys. She has articulation here in the waist. Articulation in her shoulder. Elbow double articulated. Absolutely beautifully articulated in her elbows. And wrist. And her wrist can spin. She does have the spinny upper arm. So she is completely articulated, guys. And she has great articulation in her head. So she can look down, up, and around. So this doll, and she has waist joint as well. So this doll is very articulated, as well as her feet. So she is a beautiful doll. And like I said, if you guys are looking for her, there are several vendors on AliExpress that sell her. I have seen her on eBay, but eBay is crazy expensive. I, I think she was like uh, almost $100, almost $200 for her. But these girls here, she is $44 for a doll like this. And this is from the company known as... The Blight Home Company. And this is where you buy the Blight Dolls. If you're looking for good Blight Dolls, this is the home company. This is the company that makes them. And they transfer it over to AliExpress. And you can buy Blights for about $20. Considering the fact that and they're just blank Blights. And when you buy them, they come with hair and everything. And they come with the wigs and everything. But I really don't bother with Blights. I prefer these girls. So I will be buying more of these lovely ladies. So... With that done, I'm going to put her over here in her little 
coffin or whatever you would call it. And to, I'm going to reveal, first I'm going to reveal my girl. Now, the first one, now, her name, I will reveal you her name. I named her Tina. And you're going to see why. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, instead of Elvira, is no longer who she is. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the beautiful and gorgeous Tina. Now, Tina is not complete, like 100% complete, because she's missing... She is missing her wheelchair. Tina will eventually go into a wheelchair. I do plan on getting one. Um, and I found out that the um, the 18-inch doll, my life, as well as other dolls about that size, make wheelchairs for the dolls, for dolls this size. And this is my beautiful Tina. And this is just her regular wig that she normally wears. But this is my lovely Tina. And I finally finished her. And guys, oh, she is so cute. Now, some of her paint has scratched off. But I'm going to fix that problem by covering it up. But I like the unevenness of her paint. Because it makes it look, it makes it look almost human. Almost real. So this is my beautiful Tina. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? My gorgeous Tina. And she is my very first Costello doll. Now, this doll is 150%, like, so awesome right now. So, I need to put the, um, uh-oh, sorry, guys, I'm trying to push back. I need to put the, uh, hold up, guys, give me a second, and I'm going to turn you just slightly there. And, basically, I ended, what I ended up doing was scripting her down Removing everything and just painting her skin color. So she is a new repaint for my doll collection. And this is my beautiful Tina. Okay, now I know you guys are interested in one doll in particular, guys. And he is definitely, definitely ready for his review. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the handsome, the gorgeous, and my new boy, Mr. Jason. This. Unfortunately, the only issue with Jason is that his wig never came, guys. So this is my new doll repaint, Jason. I don't know if that wig is ever going to come or not, but I'm hoping that it does because I really want him with that wig on. But until then... I will use this wig. Now, guys, this wig is very special, guys. On AliExpress, there is a wig company. that, that The wig company that makes wigs for uh, smart dolls is actually on the company. When I make this video, guys, I promise you I will put the name of the... I will, if you want the name of the company that makes these wigs... I will put it in the link. I will, I will, I will let you know. I will try to put it in the link, but I don't know if I can. I can't pronounce the name. It's on Origin. Origin. I can't really pronounce that name. But they make wigs for the smart dolls, and they are amazing wigs, guys. I already have two. I have one more coming. I'm hoping it's supposed to be his. I'm hoping that it comes. So I'm gonna show you guys what I ended up doing to his face. And I ended up deciding to put a tattoo over his eye. And I absolutely love it. And it's one of those tattoos that you don't have to put paper. It's actually blush. It's called a stencil tattoo. And I have like a whole bunch of these things. And they're so much fun to use. They're a little bit better, better than the other tattoos that I normally use. And uh, basically, when it comes... And, and as for the wig, when it comes to the wig, if you want the wig... They do sell these wigs, and guys, you will not believe the price of these wigs. $5 per wig. Free shipping. They do sell even more higher quality wigs, where the wigs are like uh, $10, $11, $11, but I think those are like rare colors. But this wig only cost me $5. I ended up getting two of them. I got one this blonde, as well as a blonde and white one. Unfortunately, I don't feel like pulling that one. But yes, this is my handsome boy, Jason. 
And I ended up giving him an earring, as you can see in his ear. And this is what he came out looking like, and he looks amazing. And I absolutely love it. I can't, well, hopefully his wig will get here. If it doesn't, then this wig will become his permanently. I will get my money back off the one that I, that, that I have lost. And I will reorder two new ones next month. So, guys, if you're looking for this company, so far I've only seen them on AliExpress for that price. AliExpress sell these wigs for five, five bucks, guys. Five. Four ninety nine, five dollars. So, guys, if you're looking for a doll wig that will fit, and they carry all size, MSD all the way up to SD size dolls. And they do come in different colors. I haven't seen any serious fantasy colors. Actually, I have, but they're like $10 for like the blue, the red, the purple, the pink. But they do sell the $10 ones. They also sell short male wigs, bob wigs. So, guys, if you want these wigs, get them where you can. They are awesome. And if you guys want to see him again, I will do another video revealing him again. So, until then, guys, it's getting 16 minutes. Unfortunately, I can't go over that much time. Until then, I love you guys. Peace out. And I'll see you next time.